Good morning, cuties. Happy Tuesday. So it's Tuesday. I just got ready and I'm about to leave for the office. I've just been having like a leisurely morning, having coffee. And I didn't vlog yesterday because we were in Lethbridge this weekend for the wedding and it was absolutely lovely. If you haven't watched that vlog, you should go and watch it because it was just such a nice weekend. And we got home Sunday afternoon and then we were just kind of like recovering. And I just felt like yesterday I needed a work gremlin recovery day. So I worked from home and I got done what I needed to get done and it was good, but now I'm ready to like re-enter into the world. We did go for a nice walk after work yesterday and it's definitely starting to feel like fall. And we were gonna do like just a short walk, Mac was with me, but then I was like, okay, no, let's like go down and do like our big walk because fall in Calgary is very fickle and it literally will stay for like a couple of weeks. And so I wanted to see like what the foliage looked like, you know, because it changes really frequently and I just like didn't want to miss it. So we went for that really nice walk last night. So that was good. We got like almost 10,000 steps, which was nice. And then came home. I was due for a hair wash, so I washed my hair. And then as I was washing it, I remembered that I actually have a haircut tonight. I haven't got my hair cut in a long time. I'd have to look to see when the last time was. But, and then I was like gonna not do my hair today because I know that I'm gonna get it like washed and done tonight. But then I was like, you know what, Mel, you deserve it. You deserve to feel, to look nice and feel nice even if it's just for one day. So I actually straightened it, which I haven't done in a long time. And she's very long and I don't want to cut much of the length off when I get my hair cut tonight, but I was considering maybe getting, like my front pieces are like really long and I was considering maybe getting like some little side bangs or something, just cause like I haven't done something different with my hair in a long time and I thought maybe like getting like side bangs is like not really a big commitment because they just grow out, right? So I'm considering that. I might have to look up some Pinterest photos I might do that today. But anyways, um, I've got a pretty busy day at work today. And then my hair appointment is at 6.30. It's in Martaloupe and I would love to walk there. So I'm hoping that I can get home by like six. It should be doable. That's usually about the time that I get home and then walk over to my hair appointment and then walk back. And then that way I'll get some of my steps in because I did not go out walking this morning. So I'm gonna finish my coffee and then we're gonna head into the office. One thing I did is that I ordered us groceries to be delivered Monday morning, which was so good, like so good of me to do, but I really only got dinner stuff. So yesterday at lunch, I didn't really have much to eat and I was gonna order something. And I was like, no Mel, like you can figure out something to make. So I put together this like really random combination of ingredients and I had it for lunch yesterday and then to bring to lunch, to bring to lunch, oh my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> to bring to work this whole week. So I'll show you what it is. Okay, so it's soba noodles with edamame, roasted tomatoes, tofu, sesame seeds, and a little bit of balsamic. Sounds very weird. It was delicious. So that's gonna be my lunch today. I'm also gonna wear my cutie little rhinestone flats. I've worn these just once before and I actually noticed that there's like a rhinestone that's missing right there. And it really bothers me, but I know that you like can't really tell, you know? And I guess I could probably go and find a rhinestone and like glue it on, but I don't think that I really need to do that. Cute. Dinner tonight is really simple, but it honestly looks amazing. So because we were just getting back from our trip, I didn't want to have too many complicated meals that I had to cook this week. So I actually got these frozen beef meatballs and I think they were on sale for like $2.50, which was just crazy. It was like a huge thing of them. And then I just got some frozen green beans, which I did in the microwave. I did those in the oven. I just have a little bit of butter on there and some pepper, sriracha, mustard and then just some roast potatoes. We actually had those last night and we just like made a bunch so that we could have some tonight. So this came together in like 15 minutes. So I checked and the last time I got a haircut was last December, like at the beginning of December. So it has truly been almost a year. So I know that I need to get my haircut and I need to get it trimmed. It's like in pretty good shape, honestly, but I mean, after like almost a year, you're gonna have some like breakage and dead ends, but 
This is what we're starting with. I mean, I'm starting with straight hair, so it's gonna look longer, but um, here she is. Can you see that? I'm sure that I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna ask her to do like kind of a blow blowout style because I feel like that's a style that like lasts for like the whole week. So I changed into just this because I thought I'd be too hot in my sweater vest. So, oh, did I mention where I go? <clears throat> I have been going to Salon Bowie in Martaloup. I've honestly changed hairdressers like many times over the years. I did have one gal who I was with for a long time, but then she had to retire from being a hairdresser. So yeah, Salon Bowie, I see Lauren, she's awesome. She's such a sweetheart. And so I'm gonna walk over there now. Day too lazy, which days it may be. I've been slacking off, what's so wrong? Day too like daydreams, why my memory hazy? Where'd it go so wrong? I don't think I quite realized that it was gonna be dark out when I was walking home, but it's fine because it's not like pitch black out. But she absolutely crushed it. I'm so happy with it. She kept the length, she blowed it out, and it just like feels amazing. And she also used a Dyson air wrap, but with like a different attachment. And she was like, your hair loves this. And so I think I, I fear I may have to buy one. But anyways, I'm so, so, so happy. It feels amazing and success also note to self melt maybe go in six months maybe don't wait a full year because that did feel amazing and i do want to just keep it healthy and it was looking a little scraggly i have absolutely been loving this yellow face i know that this was very popular a little bit ago but it just came up on my holds i have 37 minutes to go and it's just so good Good morning. It's a beautiful crisp morning and we are on our little morning walk and it's just like a beautiful temperature. It's like 15 degrees and I think it's going to be a good day. I can feel it. Oh, squirrels. I can feel it. Okay, also I obviously have my hair pulled back in a ponytail which was the goal. I didn't want the layers in front to be too short that I couldn't pull them back but if I wanted to I could pull them out, you know, if I wanted to style them like that. So I'm very, very pleased with my haircut. I just wish that it would stay in a blowout forever. One of my favorite streets and it's all fall-like. We absolutely love to see it. I feel like today's gonna be a good day. Got up, went for my walk. It was a beautiful fall walk. The fall vibes are in full swing in Calgary. I've got my fresh new haircut. I didn't touch it up at all because I'm just like, I feel like once you put a flat iron to a blowout, the blowout vibe just like goes away. I don't really know, but anyways. It definitely looked better yesterday before I slept on it, but it's fine. It still looks good. And I'm happy I got out for my walk. Let's see how many steps I did. I did 6,000 steps. So we love that for me. It's 9.30, I have an in-person client meeting at 10. So I actually am like leaving with plenty of time, but I just like to get there and then I'll just like sit in my car for a bit, but I just like never wanna be late for anything. And then today I honestly have meetings all day long like I've got a lot of meetings, <laughs> but thankfully I got a lot of work done yesterday. So I just have like a couple of things on my to-do list to crush, but today will be mostly spent in meetings. And that's about it. That's all I really have to report. I also have to submit some content for my fresh prep collab. I'm happy with it, but I hope that they're happy with it. It's like really hard to film brand deals. It's really hard to like make them authentic and like interesting and then also like, you know, hit the brand messaging that they want and I don't know, but this one was a reel and then a couple of photos for them to use in advertising. And I also really hope that they're okay with the photos because like I'm not a photographer. I did my best, but you know, I'm not a professional photographer. <laughs> 
or videographer. I'm just a content creator, you know? So anyways, I got myself a second coffee to go just because I'll be in this meeting for an hour and a bit before I go to the office where I could get another coffee. So I thought I would bring that. I brought my lunch. So we're feeling good. Hi cuties, I must apologize. I have been a really bad vlogger. I did not vlog at all yesterday or like last night. And it's just because it's been very busy. Work is busy. Planning this Easy Reads event is busy. I think all of the traveling is like kind of catching up to me too. Like Mac and I both have just had really crazy schedules. And then we were looking at October and we're gonna have like the same thing. Like we're going to Victoria together for Mac's marathon. And then he's going to Edmonton and then I'm going to Banff. So we just kind of like our back to back trips and that always just kind of throws off our, our routine, you know? So anyways, all good stuff. But I worked from home this morning, just got a couple of things done. And then now I have to head to the office. I have like no gas in my car, so I have to stop and get gas. I'm thinking of picking up a Celsius because I just feel like I could use a little pick me up to get through my busy day today. And then I have to head to the office. I need to grab some mics and take a call from there. Then I have to drive to Mahogany to do some filming with a client. So that's gonna be the day today. Again, another busy one. It's been a good week, but it's just like been a busy week. So anyways, let's head out together. I'm also wearing these new silver ballet flats that I got that I think are just adorable and so cute. Um, but a little acne update. We love these. I have a pretty big blemish right here that I do not want to see the light of day. Like I, and I didn't want to put makeup on it. So I put on a Mario Badescu drying patch. It's like one of those hydrocolloid patches, but it's very, very thin. And to be honest, they don't work very well to like help the blemish. Like I like other brands better. However, they're so thin, you can probably see it, but they're so thin that I put it on and then I put concealer over top. So like, I know that you can tell if you're looking, but like if you're not really looking, then it's fine, you know? So that was my little hack. So I feel good about that, that at least the blemish is protected and I didn't have to put makeup on over it. You feel me? Okay, it was so cute. There was this old guy beside me filling up and he was asking me how my car was on fuel. And he was like asking what year it was and he was saying it was really nice. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. So that was awesome. And then I got some Celsius. This is a new flavor that I can only find some places. I think it's at 7-Eleven, like just 7-Eleven. Green apple cherry, it's really good. So that's probably what I'm gonna have. And they're always two for 550. So I got a kiwi guavas. It kiwi guava as well. Okay, let's go to the office. What a day. I'm coming to you from the Valley Village parking lot. It's 6.08. I just had a crazy work day. Like everything is just in full force. And after work, I went to Value Village because I am thrifting some flower vases, not really vases, like just little tiny glass cups that we want to put flowers in. Like I was thinking of doing just like one little Gerber daisy in each little glass like cup. I thought that was, that would be super cute for like our decor. Obviously we're trying to do this on a budget and I knew that we'd be able to find some little thrifted like glass jars i didn't want like a mason jar because i didn't want like that rustic vibe but anyways i did find a couple but i want to get a bunch of like mismatched ones so more to come i also just took a little peek at the men's buttons button ups and also blazers and i actually found this really nice blazer it's kind of like it's a little bit thicker material so i'd probably wear it like as a jacket but I tried it on, it was super cute, it was really affordable, and I looked up the brand and it looked up. It looked like a nice brand. So anyways, now we're gonna head home. I don't really feel like cooking, and I was gonna maybe buy something like around here because I'm in this little like strip mall thing, but I don't wanna spend any more money because I just, I just don't. So I think I will go home and cook something, 
but I just don't really have much energy for it. I was just like running around all day and like just had was pulled in a million different directions, but that just happens sometimes. And it was a good day nonetheless. It's really beautiful out too. It's like sunny, not too warm, but anyways, let's drive home now. I'm home now. What time is it? 6.51. And for dinner tonight, again, I really wanted to get takeout or pick up something, but I knew that I had food at home and I had something planned. So I'm going to do tofu, broccoli, and soba noodles. I kind of want to do like a peanut sauce with all of that. That sounds good. So I'm preheating my oven. I'm going to do, do the tofu in the oven as well as the broccoli. I have fresh broccoli, so I think I'm going to roast it. And then I will boil the soba noodles. I took out my peanut butter because we get like the natural kind and I find it gets like so hard. So I need it to kind of like uh, loosen up so that I can make my sauce. But yeah, I'm trying to keep it simple. I'm not trying to like do the most. I'm basically just trying to not get takeout. <laughs> cuties happy friday i'm so happy that it's friday we made it such a busy week today will probably be busy too but i'm gonna work from home i have one call in like 10 minutes here and then i don't have any calls for the rest of the day but that could change sometimes things come up but other than that i'm just going to be work gremlining today from home and then tonight we're actually babysitting my nephew liam and i'm so excited to see him because he's the one that we went um, to winnipeg with and i just like miss him and he's actually gonna sleep over so we have had him sleep over before that time where we took care of him for three nights, which was a lot, but tonight he's just sleeping over for the night. So I think it's gonna be really fun. Um, my sister's gonna drop him off later. We're just gonna like chill. Mac is gonna be like a little bit late at work today. So Liam and I will have some time together. I think I wanna take him out to the park. He has a lot of energy. So we need to like take him out and like get the energy out, you know? And then we'll probably order pizza. And then whenever he comes over, I like bringing him to Village for ice cream. So we'll probably do that. And then he'll go to bed. I have to clean out the office cause that's where he sleeps and I have to like make his bed. And that should be just so cute and fun. So I'm looking forward to that. And then we have a long weekend this weekend, which is awesome. I have Monday off for National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. And I don't really have that many plans. Like obviously we've got Liam sleeping over and then tomorrow I'm gonna see my friend Josh and her new baby, Maisie. I'm so excited to see them. I don't know exactly what we're doing, but we've got that going on and then Saturday night, Sunday, Monday, I don't really have many plans, which I kind of want to keep it that way because it's just been very busy and I just feel like I'm going to need some time to like rest, relax, reset, you know, but very, very much looking forward to the long weekend. I want to stay focused today, get all of my work done and then go into the weekend. I actually have to go and drive to the office just because I have these little mics that someone needs for content today. So that's all good. I'll take a little drive. And as a little treat, I thought that I might bring myself a little Celsius. It's like a reward. Okay, it's like 2 p.m. and I'm having a very late lunch because today has been crazy. So I wanted something really quick. So I have some of this pulled chicken um, when I'm too lazy to cut it myself. And then this is one of my favorite of these like bagged salads. I like this one because I really like the dressing, basil balsamic, delish. And I also like it because it has feta cheese and most of these salads don't have cheese. So that's good. And then I'm gonna add some cherry tomatoes. And I'm also going to eat this out of a big bowl because I don't know what the science is behind it, but eating a salad out of a big bowl like that just tastes better. Here is the finished product. I think she looks pretty good. Let's mix it together. Okay, very excited to eat this. Okay, I'm going to scarf this down pretty quickly and then I'm just going to work gremlin for the rest of the day. So I think I'll end this vlog here. Um, I'm glad we're done this week. It was a busy one and I'm really, really excited for this long weekend and I'll do a fun weekend vlog, but I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I would absolutely love to have you and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.